Good morning. Uh, welcome to this week's uh, Wednesday Chapel. Um, you are welcome and we pray by the grace of God that this uh, uh, chapel will bring um, transformation, hope and encouragement to, to somebody. Before we go any further, shall we bow our heads and pray. Father, we want to say thank you for your grace, your mercy, and your love. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of salvation. Father, we, uh, uh, we want to feed on the bread of life, which is the word of God. We pray that Holy Spirit give us uh, insight. Help us to speak this word with clarity and let it come out with simplicity so that the, the, the children of God may be helped, transformed, changed by the power of your word. Holy Spirit, start with us in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Um, <clears throat> my name's are Pastor Frint Molopwe and I pastor a church called Kingdom Crown Bible Church. Um, um, the person that um, will be together today to share the word of God. Um, I'm, I'm married and blessed by God with four kids. Um, I'm a teacher by profession and uh, I'm a pastor by calling and um, I'm called by God to preach hope and to bring a realization of uh, uh, a destiny. So in whatever I'll be saying today, my prayer is that somebody will be given a hope. Today, I'm going to talk on a subject that I've entitled, Born Naked But Not, uh, You're Born Naked But Not Empty. So, we're going to talk about a topic I'm, I'm entitled Born Naked But uh, Not Empty. All right. Uh, and our Bible case study will come from the book of Matthew, chapter number 25, and we'll start from verse 14. And I'll read from my authorized King James Version. Uh, Matthew chapter 25 verse number 14 the Bible says for it will be like a man going on a journey who called his servants and entrusted to them his property to one he gave five talents to another two to another one to each according to his ability then he went away verse 16 he who had received the five talents went at once and traded with them, and he made five talents more. So also he who had the two talents made two talents more. Verse 18, but he who had received the one talent went, um, went and dug in the ground and hide his master's money. Now, after a long time, the master of those servants came and settled accounts with them. And he who had received the five talents came forward, bringing five talents more, saying, Master, you delivered to me five talents. Here I have made five talents more. His master said to him, Well done, good and faithful servant. You have been faithful over a little. I will set you over much enter into the joy of your master 22 and he also and he also who had the two talents came forward saying master you delivered to me two talents here i have made two talents more 23 his master said to him well done good and faithful servant you have been faithful over a little and i'll set you over much enter into the joy of your master 24 he who he also who had received the one talent came forward saying, Master, I knew, you to, I knew you to be a hard man, reaping where you did not sow and gathering where you scattered no seed. So I was afraid and I went and hide your talent in the ground. Here you have what is yours. 
26. The Bible says, But his master answered him, You wicked and slothful servant, you knew that I reap where I have not sown, and gather where I scattered no seed. Then you ought to have invested my money with the bankers, and at my coming I should have received what was my own with uh, interest. May God bless the reading of his word. We are talking about born naked but not empty. Uh, the Bible will help us discuss uh, this uh, subject this morning. Uh, in the Bible, we are reading a parable that uh, was given uh, to us. Uh, this parable says there was a master who had three servants. He was going somewhere for a long period of time, for some time. So he gave, delivered, distributed talents to his three uh, servants. To the first one, he gave five to the second one the bible says he gave two and to the third one he gave one and then he went the time he came the bible says the time he came the bible says he asked them what they did with the uh the the, the talents that he gave them the one who had five said master you gave me five i traded with the five and i made five more then the one with two said i traded with the two and i made two more then the one with one said i dug and i hide the one talent you gave me because i knew to say you want to reap where you did not sow so now when you look at each of these uh, three servants the master had something to say to them so now, today, let's learn something from this uh, passage of scripture. Uh, first, like everyone else, I was tempted to think that this master was unfair. Why did he give different talents to different people? I was tempted to think the master was unfair. Uh, why didn't he give them the same number of talents so that the ground can be leveled for them to compete uh, well. Then as I was studying, I realized that um, two or three things that made the master to give them uh, different talents. Now, one of the things that we need to realize and understand is that the master gave these people different talents. So when he gave them different talents, number one, the master did not expect them to bring the same results because it would be unfair for them to bring the same results when they were given different talents. So the master expected them to bring something after trading with what he gave them. He gave one, uh, 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 he gave one five the other one two the other one one he did not expect them to bring the same profit the same results that's one thing that we need to understand then number two is that the master the reason why the master gave them different talents he did not expect them to compete with one another because you cannot compete with somebody that already has got uh, uh, five someone has got two you have got one you can't compete with one with five so the master didn't give them and expected them not to compete with one another so those are some of the things that we need to understand uh, from this uh, from this text uh, text now another thing that we need to learn from this is that the master expected each one of them to do something with whatever he gave them he expected them to trade the bible says they traded so expected them to trade with whatever he gave them um, regardless uh, the level it was or regardless the size so the one with five was supposed to trade with the five the one with two to trade with two and then the one with one to trade with one but look at how uh, it happened 
other one, this, the, 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 the third servant decided not to do something with it. And there we can learn to say, uh, the master said, you wicked servant. So we we'll learn something from, from, from there today. Now, uh, let, let, let's bring this in real life. We are born on earth, and when we are born on earth, everybody is born naked. But we need to understand to say, when you are born, there's something that God deposited in you. There's, there's a talent, uh, there's potential, there's greatness in you that God deposited in each one of us. Now, when we are born, we realize to say, we are born with different talents with different giftings we are born at different levels from different uh, 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 places so now when the master gives us talent he expect us to use the talent let me break it down so simple and easy. These talents I'm talking about, I'm talking about uh, giftings. I'm talking about the, 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 the grace, the, the, the grace that we carry, the giftings that we carry. Um, um, I'm talking about the things that you do better more than other people. That's the talent that you're, you're, you're born with. So now, first thing, you need to discover the talent. You need to discover what God has given you in your life because you are not born empty you are born with something that God deposited in you so the day you were born you grow up then you learn to discover that you are born with a talent in you and that talent that you're born with you need to discover it discover that talent and when you discover it trade with it use it now you are going to realize to say as you are born you realize to say we are given different talents. Some are given more than others. So you, you are going to realize to say when you are born, you discover you are born in a family. Maybe sometimes this family is better than other families. Or sometimes you are born in a family that is less privilege like other families so now when you discover that a lot of people are tempted to sit down and, 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 and complain and say why didn't God choose to give me this and choose to give the other one that we are tempted sometimes we are even we, we even get offended and say god is unfair why did he give the other one uh, a five and me i'm given one or sometimes let me put it uh, like this sometimes someone will say why did god allow me to be born in a poor family and allow the other one to be born in a rich family why did god allow that one to be a prophet and allow me to be this why did god give this to that one and give this to the other one so you find that there, there, there are those complaints there are those uh, issues that discourage people to do anything because they are telling themselves me I'm given less the other one is given more so here I am to tell you to say whatever God has given you you must tread with it the Bible uh, the, the, the word tread means you exchange what you have with something that you need there's something that you don't have today and uh, something that you need to have something that you long to to have or you you want to become that's what you need but what you need to do with this uh, 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 verse it is teaching us you need need to tread with what you have so that you may have what you need so now what it is is like this let's say you are given one talent this talent that you are given god expects you to exchange that with what you need example you are born in a poor family then you are telling yourself what i have is poverty but what i need is to do better in life is to become somebody in life is to to to, to make sure that i i, be, I I prosper in life. I make it in life. I get education. I, 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 I reach uh, uh, the levels that I want. That's what you need. So what you need to do is you must 
trade with the one talent that you have to become what God has, uh, intends you to become. So you don't um, throw away the one talent. You don't hide the one talent. God expects you to trade, to use the same one talent that you have so that you may become what God uh, wants you to become. So God expects each one of us to trade with what we have. So at whatever level you are, God expects you to trade. Use what you have. Where Work hard with what you have at any level you are work hard then God is going to lift you to bless you so that you become what you want to become in in, in life the other thing that I want us to understand from this passage of scripture is that when these gifts are given to us when these talents are given to us god does not expect us to compete with anybody we must compete with ourselves because we are unique we are called different differently uh, we are called by god differently we are gifted differently so if you are gifted differently god expects you not to compete with someone else but to compete with you yourself because you are oh, you are in your own world you are called different you are unique your voice is different the way you look is different your, your, your fingerprints are different so you are unique you are in your own class so what God expects you to do is to compete with yourself with that which is in you not with someone else that's why he gave them a, a different uh, talents. So every time God expects us to compete with ourselves and not uh, someone else. Because if you compete with other people, you begin, to, uh, uh, you begin to blame yourself and to blame the God that gave you that talent and, and, and gifting. Then we need life um, from this. I want you to learn that life is like a game of cards. Um, a game of cards in, 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 um, in, in our local language, you call it njuga. So when we talk about njuga or the, 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 the game of cards, you are going to realize that when you are given cards, people will be given cards. And the one that is given cards will give cards at, at random. And then when we pick the cards that we are given, you are going to discover that these cards are, given, are different. Some will be given better cards that will need less effort for them to win. Others will be given bad cards. Then the other one will be given uh, slightly good cards. Now, these cards that we are given uh, in life, you're going to realize that each one of you, you're going to discover to say, my cards are like this. Now, you need to do something with your cards. What do you need to do? You need to exchange the cards that you are given to the cards that you need for you to win. So if you are given bad cards, example, your cards are that you are born in Africa. Maybe you're, you're, you're born in, in a ghetto. You're born uh, somewhere where it's hard for you to make it in life. Those are the cards that you are given. And someone else will be given cards that are, are very good. They will need less effort for them to win. You find that somebody is born, uh, maybe the father is a president. Maybe uh, the, the, the father is, is this or is that. So you find that they have got everything in their disposal to get education, to get whatever they want. Those are the cards that those people are given. Now, instead of you beginning to complain with the cards that you are given, it's better you begin to exchange the card the cards get the bad cards begin to exchange them with the better one exchange them with the better one with, with with time you realize to say you make good cards that will make you win so instead of somebody here complaining about the background complaining about their education complaining about their parents complaining about the economy of their country complaining about this about that whatever uh, cards you are given trade with them exchange them with the better cards and you find you're going to to so what you do is the time that we are given the 24 uh, 24 uh, uh, hours 
the 24 hours that we are given each one of us is given 24 hours so now that 24 hours each one of us according to the cards that we are given we are exchanging the cards with the time that we are given so every day that comes do something to exchange the bad cards with the better cards so what you do if you want to become better in life every day that comes make sure you do something in life do uh, example you want to, uh, to, uh, to to get education what do you do study uh, have sleepless uh, nights study go here go there as you are doing that you are exchanging the bad cards of, of, of lack of education that your family is experiencing you you are studying you are exchanging cards at the end of the day you are going to realize you are educated why because you have exchanged the bad cards that you are given with the good cards so now the other one also who work with the cards you find at the end of the day your life is changed I, I, i'm talking to somebody today who, who is uh, complaining because of the background because of this because of that because of lack of employment because of this because of that i'm here to tell you to say at whatever level you are god expects you to do something you must do something Start with whatever you have. If you have got one talent, start with the same talents that you have. I've seen people who have become millionaires now who started from the scratch. Somebody started with uh, uh, selling cooking oil in bottles and today now they're having uh, a big company that is uh, uh, manufacturing, that, uh, that is uh, refining uh, 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 products. So now, same applies with you. Whatever level you are, you can do something with what you have to become what you, you, you want to become in life. Don't sit down and cry and complain while other people are hustling, other people are working hard. They wake up uh, um, at 4 a.m. They are going uh, to order some things from, from the market, from Soweto market. They are ordering things. They are coming. Then they are selling. As they are selling, they are making more profit. They order more. They, uh, today, they are at level one. After two, three years, you find them they are at level five. Why? Because they traded with what you are. So life is all about exchanging the bad cards you are given to the good cards that you need. Life is all about trading. They, they, they the, the way that everybody should go with is trade, trade, exchange what you have with what you want, with what you need in life. Trade at any level. We are in this organization. We are in different organizations, different companies. Uh, we, we are employed. And you find that in that, in that uh, a company, you are on different levels. That some of them, some of you, you are on manager level. Some of you, you are uh, there uh, uh, at, at the beginning. So it doesn't matter at what level you are. Just do what you are required to do. Work hard. Do what you are told to do. Then God will lift you from one level to the next level. Somebody say amen. No. So what I'm trying to say here is that God is looking at you at any level, at the level that you are. And God expects you to do something for God to give you grace to become, to go to another level. You cannot go to another level unless you trade with what you have at your level. Then God will give you grace to go to another level. Don't compete with anybody. Compete with yourself. Do what you're supposed to do at your level. Then God is going to lift you to a different level. So God is telling us, is teaching us this morning that he, according to his plan, is to make each one of us great in life. God expects every one of us to make it in life. So, even you, God expects you to make it in life. God expects me to make it in life. God does not expect us to fail because we have what uh, we, we carry. We, we, we've got what uh, it is it, it to take for us to make it in life. You are born naked but you are born with something to start with at least you have got somewhere to start from at least you've got one 
talent. Uh, uh, it was going to be unfair if you had nothing completely. But you have one talent. At least you, you've got somewhere to start from. Um, you cannot uh, be at an international school, but at least you are at a community school. You cannot be at this private school, but at least you are at a certain school. Meaning that at least you have got somewhere to start from. Then trade with what you have. Learn at a community school. The same education that someone is learning at an international school is the same education you are getting. Just work hard. Work hard. And then do what you can do with what you have to become what you want to become. And the, the, the last thing that I want to say is that in this game, um, overtaking is allowed. What do I mean when I say overtaking is allowed? You, you're going to realize that you can have one talent. You can have, um, uh, you, you, you can be in a company at the, the lowest uh, level. You can be a cleaner. You can be this or that at any level. But overtaking in life is allowed. What it means is this. If you are at this level and then you find that somebody is at f uh, uh, level five of talents, somebody has got everything, then you have got nothing. You find that somebody has got everything, some of them they become lazy and some of them they become careless and you find that they waste everything they, they, they had and you who had won you're going to trade with what you have and you become big and better than those who had in uh, who had more than you at first so there you are overtaking why because you are working hard you are using what you have and somebody who had more than you is uh, uh, um, um, uh, misusing what was given to them and then at the end of the day they will lose everything then you you'll be on a better side because you have used what you have so people that are ahead of us it doesn't mean that we cannot reach that level we can reach that level if we can just do something with what you, uh, what we have so uh, in conclusion I was saying that every one of us is born on earth. We are born naked, but we are not born empty. There's something that God has put in us. It doesn't matter the gender. You can be female, you can be male. You are born with something in you. So now that which you are born uh, with, God expects you to discover that. When you discover that, then trade with what you have been given. Trade with what God has given you. That talent, it can be one, two, or five. Trade with it. Do something with it. As you do something with it, you are going to realize to say, you're going to make profit. You're going to find good results. And you're going to become better in life. God expects us to use what we have to become what we want to become in life. God does give them different talents so that they should not compete with one another. God gave them different talents uh, levels so that uh, each one of them should not bring the same. God did not expect them to bring the same results. They should bring different results because they are on different levels. So even you do what you can do with what you have and bring results according to your level. Don't compete with somebody else who is on, on a different on a different level. Do something with what you have and your life will become better and your life will become what you expect to be. God, when we are born on earth, God expects us to become better. We must live the earth different the way we found it. We must uh, do things that people will remain to remember you, that you left a legacy. You did something that was not there. You left uh, something. So do something to what you have. Don't uh, sit down and then blame others, complain and do this and do that. No, God expects you to do something with what you have. You were born naked and not empty. You are born with something and God expects you to do something with what you have. This has been Pastor Frint. 
Mulopwe from Kingdom Crown Bible Church. And I believe God has blessed us. Thank you so much. God bless you.